Welcome back everyone, Crojan here with another how-to video. So, you're sick of running around and you want to get some wheels. So, you can, you've got a little choice of car, quad, bike, tractor, and then you've got boats and planes. But we're going to go and get a quad today. And the first thing we're going to need is fuel and batteries. So, we found some batteries. Any type does just fine. And we need something to carry fuel in now i don't have a petrol can so i've just emptied a bottle of whatever that is wine something <laughs> and we've got a couple of coke uh, orange cans and an empty canteen so we're going to go over to the petrol station we're going to fill these up and then we're going to go and find a quad so we've made it over to a petrol station and all we're going to do is just going to go over press f and fill our empty bottle we're a little bit thirsty as well so i'm just going to drink this fanta and then that'll be empty as well and we can fill that up with fuel and then we'll run over back to the little village by where we just were and we'll get I, I do know that there is a quad there so fill orange juice okay so hopefully them two will be enough we've got that battery is no good that's empty we've got one two three four batteries that should be plenty to get it started depending on your driving skill as well though you you might have a bit of a, an issue so you might need a couple it's best for the car battery because you get a bigger charge out of it but these little ones do the job so there's the little village in front of us and i'll meet you back when we get there so we ran into a couple of puppets on the way over here but it wasn't too bad um so where's our quad if you look at them it's got 44 percent health but the all all the vehicles now come with no battery and no fuel so the only way to get them going is you need to go and get yourself some fuel and some batteries if you've got multiplayer you get on your vehicle and one of your teammates can give you a push start but that's not happening for us on single player so if we hold down our f button we've got the option to fill fuel and we've got two containers of fuel so we'll do this twice so there's our little orange can fill in the tank up and then if we hold it down again, we've got charge battery. We'll do this a few times because I don't want to waste the ones that we've got. I'd rather it was just full enough to get going. So I'll just do the all what we every I'll just do all the ones that we've got. And then this will be our ride for the day. That's it, that's all of them. So all our options are now is drain fuel. So if we get back on the bike, now we'll see in the bottom right there, it's got a little bit of fuel. It's got some battery and a little bit of health. So let's get going. So I'm just going to take this back to the petrol station again now and fill it with fuel. So now we're here, you just pull up next to a petrol pump. Get off your car, get out your get out your car, get off your bike, get off your quad, hold down F and fill fuel. And as long as you've got fuel in the petrol station, you see the little green lights, then you can fill your tank up. So now get on your little vehicle and enjoy exploring the island. If you notice your battery in the bottom right hand corner, as you drive, the battery does charge up. When you're offline, oh shit. But when you're offline, it does go down. So you will have to keep riding it every so often if you want to keep the battery charged. But yeah, enjoy. If this has been helpful to you in any way, hit that subscribe button. We've just hit 250 subscribers on our road to 500 now. If the episode is any good, thumbs up. And if you've got any questions, comments, any requests, drop it in the comments. And I'll catch you all next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye.